What is up guys, welcome to the video. Today's video is going to be a deep dive into how you can lose weight without tracking macros or calories. I wanna set a very important principle right from the start. And that is that the methods that I will be talking about in this video will just get you into a calorie deficit, which is what the only driver of fat loss is. So whether you're tracking macros, tracking calories, tracking protein and calories, or you're doing some of the methods that I'm gonna be talking about in this video, know that the only reason that any of these methods will work for you losing weight is because it will put you in a calorie deficit. Now, if you don't know what a calorie deficit is or you're interested in tracking your macros and your calories, I have done comprehensive guides on both of those things, which I will link down in the description below. But for the sake of this video, we're gonna be focusing on just ways that you can lose weight, put yourself in a calorie deficit without tracking your calories or macros. Now, the first tactic that you can use to put yourself into a calorie deficit is to focus around having protein at every single meal. And this isn't because protein is some magical macronutrient or anything like that. Protein is fantastic and has a lot of significant purpose in your body. But the reason that I would have you have protein at every single meal is because it will help you stay full and then it will fill you up at that meal. If you're sitting down to eat a meal, odds are you're not going to overeat or go excessively over in portions on the protein at that meal. So if your meal is centered around a lean cut of protein like chicken or fish, that's gonna be a whole lot harder to overeat than something like rice or pasta or potatoes or something like that. In addition to the difficulty to overeat these foods, protein helps signal satiety in your brain, which will in turn make you feel fuller, so you'll be less inclined to overeat across the board. And that's worth noting that just because you feel hungry after a meal, you feel hungry during a meal doesn't mean that you just haven't had enough calories. It just means that you haven't signaled to your body that it is done eating. So having protein centered at every meal can help trigger that full signal in your brain and in your gut that tells you to stop eating so that you don't eat more of the foods that are easier to overeat, the carbs, the fats, and all of those things. Now the next tactic that I would have you use would be to replace easy to eat carbs with fibrous veggies. Now before I dive into that, I wanna nail home the point that there is nothing inherently wrong with carbohydrates. But here's the thing about carbs. You love them, I love them, they're easy to overeat, and they're generally calorie dense in the forms that we eat them. So by swapping out these easier to eat carbs with vegetables, we not only keep calories lower in the meal, but we also can fill up a lot easier, which kind of goes in turn with the first tactic of having protein every meal and feeling full. But the big way that it does it is that it just simply cuts extra calories out of your diet that you don't necessarily need. Let me use the Happy Meal as an example. It may seem trivial and it may seem silly, like if you're ordering a Happy Meal or something at McDonald's, to replace the fries with the apple slices. You're already in the mentality of, well, I'm at McDonald's, I'm gonna be eating junk anyway. But the little changes like that, subbing out the fries for the apple slices can make a huge difference in your total caloric consumption for the day, which, like I said at the top of the video, is going to be the driver of any fat loss results that you see. And this applies for meals you make at home as well. Subbing the pasta out for spaghetti squash, subbing the rice out for cauliflower rice. These things will keep your calories low, give you a much more micronutrient dense diet, which is going to be good for your overall health. But most importantly, at the end of the day, it'll help keep calories low. So to summarize that, replace easy to eat carbs with fibrous vegetables. The next tactic that I have for you is centered around water. When we get bored, when we are stressed, we tend to think that we are hungry when we're not. Drinking a large glass of water when you think you're hungry or you think you're just gonna bored eat or something like that can help cue that satiated response that will help you realize and bring awareness to the fact that you're not actually hungry, that you don't actually need food, but rather you're just bored and having water or something like that, whether it's a seltzer or any other low calorie or zero calorie beverage can help trigger that response and bring awareness to the fact that you're not necessarily hungry, but rather just bored. In addition to that, a lot of the times when we're thirsty, we think we're hungry. So having a big glass of water can help you delineate between the two. And of course, if you can limit eating when you're not hungry and when you don't need those calories, you will keep calories low for the day, help keep you in a calorie deficit. Now, the last tactic that I have for you is a little bit more behavioral, and that's to write down or take pictures of all the food that you eat. 
Now doing this isn't going to fill you up, it's not gonna keep you from overeating necessarily, but it can create an extra level of friction between you and a behavior that you don't want to do. If you're watching this, you probably want to lose weight in some capacity. So the goal is to lose weight, and all the little habits and behaviors that are gonna get you there are things that will limit your total caloric intake. By doing the simple act of logging your food by just writing it down or taking pictures of it, you're adding an extra step, an extra bit of awareness between you and the food. If you're sitting on the couch watching a movie one night and you just wanna go into the cupboard, grab something and eat it, but you know that if you go in there, you have to take a picture of it, you're gonna be confronted with the choice that you're making that is at odds with the goal you have for yourself. The more friction points that we can have between you and behaviors that you don't necessarily want to have for your future self can pay serious dividends in the long run. So if you struggle with just spontaneous eating or spontaneous binges, adding in that extra level of I need to take a picture of this or I need to take the time to write down what is going in my mouth can bring a situational awareness to the behavior that you're about to enact. And if you do that long enough, you can start building the habits and behaviors that are gonna get you to your goal. Now, if you can just use one of these tactics as opposed to counting calories or counting your macros, you could really set yourself on the track to being in a calorie deficit and reaching the weight loss goals you have for yourself. Now, one or all of these tactics might help you and might bring you close to your goals, which would be absolutely fantastic if it means that you don't have to count calories or count macros. I know that that can be a contentious thing for a lot of folks. And if you don't feel comfortable tracking calories, one of these tactics could be the thing that gets you closer to your goal. But I still wanna drive home the core principle here because I'm about educating you and helping you understand why the things that you do will get you to your goal. Remember that there's nothing magical about any of the things that I just said. They are just tips, tricks, tactics, whatever you want to call it, to help you stay in the calorie deficit for a sustained period of time to get you to your goals. And with all of that being said, I'm going to leave the video here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like, comment below any of your favorite tactics that you have used if you don't track calories. And of course, if you are not, please subscribe. I appreciate every single one of you and I will catch you in the next one.